Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration. Now, we recently got a plasma TV for our living room and we were looking for something that would help us bring the World Wide Web, the entire internet and not just YouTube or Flickr, to a living room. Now, there were two choices. I could have either taken an old laptop and connected it to the, to the TV using regular cables, but that would have been very geeky and I'm sure none of my family members would have really enjoyed using that setup. So the other choice was to get a dedicated digital media receiver, devices like Google TV, Roku, Boxy TV, or even Apple TV. Now this is a category of very portable, affordable devices that easily connect to your computer, they're easy to use, and you can browse internet from your couch. Now, if you're in the US, you'll probably compare these devices based on what services they support, whether it supports Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Video On Demand, Pandora, and stuff like that. But unfortunately, none of these streaming media services are available here in India, so the selection criteria is very, very different. Now, after comparing the specs and reading the reviews of all these uh, digital media receivers, I decided to go for something called Google TV. Now, this is basically, um, the box is called Logitech Review. The hardware is made by Logitech. It's called Review, but the internal software is powered by Google TV. Now this box comes with two things. There is the regular set-top box that connects to your TV via an HDMI cable. Now think of it as a CPU of your computer. It has several ports. There is USB for connecting to USB flash drives so that you can browse the media on your TV or you can connect a webcam here and do live chatting from your TV. Then there are HDMI ports for connecting to your, to your TV. And uh, then you also need a remote, right? So you'll be surprised, but the remote is something like this. Now this looks quite complicated, but actually if you use it for some time, it, it, it feels very easy. So the, the remote is logically divided into two parts. This is the keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard that you use for typing. In case you want to reply to your emails from your TV, you can do that. And this side, this side is the stuff that's required for TV. So this is the trackpad, like you have it on your laptop so that you can operate the mouse on the screen. And then you have these buttons in case you want to bookmark websites, you want to move cursor, right? So it's, it's actually very easy, but in, if it feels a bit odd to use uh, such a kind of a device for controlling your TV, the good thing is they also have apps. For instance, they have an app for Android so this basically Google TV app for Android that turns your Android phone into a remote. Or if you're an iPhone user, they also have an app for your iPhone. They don't have an app for an iPad, but, um, but because all iPhone apps are compatible with the iPad, so you can also install this app on your iPad like this. Unfortunately, these apps are not available in the Indian iTunes store, but you can easily create another account and download these apps. So um, that's the basic of Google TV, but how is the t device itself? So now let's jump in. So once you start Google TV, you land on your bookmark screen. This is basically a list of websites and apps that you use most frequently. The screen is completely customizable, so you can add or remove websites as you like. Then you have the Applications tab, which con contains all the applications that are installed on Google TV. For instance, there's Twitter, there's Logitech Media Player, which you can use to browse the media on your home network. And then there is Google Chrome, which is a full-fledged Google Chrome browser. It's very limited, but this should improve once uh, the Honeycomb-based version of Google TV is out. Spotlight is basically a gallery of websites or content producers who have Tweak their design so that they look good on your large screen HD TV. There is Al Jazeera, CNN, CNET, The New York Times, and a lot of other popular publishers who are now streaming their content for Google TV via the Spotlight feature. Then one of the other interesting features of Google TV is the queue. This is like basically creating a playlist for your TV. You subscribe to your podcast, and as new podcast shows become available, you can watch them via the queue feature. Very interesting. Now let's explore some applications available on Google TV. There's the most popular YouTube, which lets you browse the entire YouTube from your couch, but in a full screen experience. So it looks really, really good on your TV screen. 
There's Google Chrome that lets you browse the web just like you do on your computer. You can use the URL bar to type websites or search terms. For instance, we'll search for the Wikipedia homepage here. Now as you type, the search suggestions come up and the third option which is wikipedia.org is actually equivalent to the I am feeling lucky button on the Google homepage. So you can just click there and go directly to the Wikipedia website. Now once you are on a web page, you can click on links just like you do on your computer screen using the keyboard controls. Now let's look at another popular app that ships with Google TV and that's Twitter. Now with the Twitter app, you can see your tweets, you can see who has written to you using the mentions tab. Now for this example, I'll quickly reply to a tweet so that you get an idea how it is to use Twitter from Google TV. It's quite easy actually. Now let's go back to Spotlight and drive another site there, for instance CNET, the popular technology website. Now if I click on the CNET icon, I'm taken directly to their video site. But the formatting is such that you see no clutter, all you see is the video on the screen. The quality is really good, there's no buffering, but it actually depends on your internet speed. You can switch videos using the keyboard controller again by clicking the thumbnail. So it's a very good experience overall. So that was a quick video tour of Google TV. When they launched initially, the Logitech review box was selling for $249, but recently they decided to slash the price to $1.99 and that changes everything. Google TV is certainly great value for money and with Honeycomb based Google TV expected in the coming weeks or months, that would bring apps to your living room TV and that would make this device all the more exciting. Thank you.